Hey everyone, I'm Ruby Galani and welcome back to the Maybelline Makeup Loft. Today I'll be showing you how to achieve this Model Loft Duty makeup look. Alright, so I'm starting off this video with absolutely no makeup on, zero zilch. Now to cheat a really good skin day like you've had the most amazing facial of your life, I am taking the Master Strobing Cream by Maybelline and I'm going to be mixing this in with my Everyday Primer. Now this Super Safe Primer by Maybelline is going to help with your foundation's longevity. It's also going to help your concealer last all day as well. Oily skin sisters, I've got you. But it's okay to enjoy a little bit of that glow, which is why I've mixed in that strobing cream because ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of help. Let your base settle for a little bit before layering on your foundation. Now the foundation that we're using is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation, which is one of my absolute favorites. Now I'm popping this foundation directly onto my flat top kabuki brush and I'm just going to be stippling this on the center of my face first before I start blending and buffing it in. Now we're just going to keep this foundation to the center portion of our face only. This is a matte, very smoothing foundation. It's going to help give our textured skin a much smoother appearance. For the outer portion of the face, I will be using a cushion foundation. This is the Maybelline Cushion. I did a write-up on this like ages ago on my blog and I haven't stopped raving about it since. It just gives the most beautiful skin-like finish and it does cover you know, your imperfections and things that you actually want to conceal. And I'm just going to mix it in with the matte and poreless foundation that we have um, towards the center of our face just to make sure that both formulations blend together seamlessly. Moving on to the concealer now, this is one of my ride or dies. I cannot go through life without it. And it's definitely a very important product for creating that really nice highlighted sculpted model of duty makeup look. Now, is there a thing as too much concealer? Nope, there's no such thing as too much concealer. Especially if it's a lighter concealer, because I feel like it's just going to help make our skin look so fresh. It's going to make our under eyes look so awake. And the coverage on this thing is beyond amazing and it blends out so quickly, so easily, so seamlessly. So I'm a huge fan and I know if you guys haven't tried this concealer, you should definitely pop it on your list as like an emergency purchase because it is like the bomb.com. Now let's move on to creating a really nice, beautiful glow. I am taking that strobing cream once again and we're going to be popping that on top of our foundation and concealer and just on the tops of our cheekbones to give our skin a really nice wet glow. Onto my favorite part, which is contouring. This is where we bring our cheekbones to life and we can actually fake Gigi Hadid's beautiful bone structure. So I'm taking a darker concealer and using that to sculpt my face, but at the same time, it's actually concealing my problem areas because I actually have acne on my cheeks. So it's like a win-win situation. This also works really well as an eyeshadow primer because it locks your eyeshadows into place and it helps conceal the veins and discoloration that you may have because the skin is really thin on the eye area. Now I'm just going to be priming from lash line all the way to brow bone, including the inner corner and lower lash line as well. Anywhere that you're going to be applying your you know, eyeshadows, you need to apply a primer. Now I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and set the entire face with a bit of powder, just so if we've got any fallout from our eyeshadows, we can easily dust it off. And this just means that, you know, our cream products are going to be locked in and they won't move throughout the day. Mmm, the kind of nudes I want to be sent. Take note, ladies and gentlemen, this nude palette is absolutely amazing and it's got a few gorgeous transitional shades that are matte that you can work with. Now I'm going to be taking a mixture of these shades and really working them in the socket and as a transitional color. So we're really trying to create that lift. The trick is to blend eyeshadows into the outer V and blend them up towards your brow bone. Use the tail of your brow as a reference and just blend, blend, blend until you have a soft, hazy look. Let's move back onto the lower lash line. Keep the eyeshadows as close to the base of your lashes as possible. And we're also going to be creating and cheating that lifted effect by shading our lower lash line and literally just creating a flick using our shadows to give the illusion of a more almond shaped eye. Now the eyes are never fully dressed without some mascara and what better product to use to create that lifted effect than the Push Up Mascara by Maybelline. Look at this wand, like you can get every little single eyelash on the outer corner to give you a perfect look. Look at that. Look, I literally got every single lash with this mascara wand. How brilliant is it? And it really does 
you know, fan up the lashes, add a little bulk and a little bit of length. Absolute fan. Love it and highly recommend it. Moving on to the lips, we are going to go for a Your Lip Color But Better type of shade. And we're just going to be lining our lips first. And then we're going to move on and use one of my favorite products that you can use on your lips and cheeks. <gasps> this is the Baby Doll Lip and Cheek Balm. And I'm just going to be applying the tiniest amount on my cheeks. And this actually gives the skin a really nice glow. Even though we've popped it over powder, it's going to look amazing. Now the final touches is applying some highlighter to our collarbones and also our shoulders. And this is how you can achieve a model of duty makeup look. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next tutorial. Bye!